Some big developments as Turkey joining the fight against ISIS, bombing the militants in Syria for the first time. And after months of asking, Turkey is going to allow the United States to use two Turkish air bases in the war against the terror group. This is big. Joining me now, Lisa Daftari, Middle East journalist, and Jillian, uh, excuse me, and, and Jillian Turner, I believe, is with us as well. Is that correct? Okay. She's coming as well. Let me start with Lisa. Uh, ISIS, the question of whether or not it is finally overplaying its hand. It has done so much to, to infuriate the communities in which it operates now that, that perhaps it's gone too far, particularly in this bombing, that the suicide bombing in Turkey right. that created this counter-reaction. Well, ISIS has been very bold and brazen in its move, movement, both on the battlefield, online, anywhere it can, but obviously also very measured, and we can see that by their successes. And whether it's on the battlefield, on the border with Turkey or not, it was Turkey that delayed this involvement. They were already entangled. But based on Erdogan's own interests... Erdogan is the prime minister of Turkey. Yeah. Correct. He did not get involved um, to this point. So he's one year... You say personal interest. Some people suspect that his son and other people in his family, his administration, might have actually been buying ISIS oil. Have you well, heard those? I've, I've heard these rumors. They're yet to be confirmed. But the, the, the real interest, the political interest that we know Erdogan has um, is fighting the Kurds in, in his own country. Right. Why would he want to now arm the Kurds uh, in Syria? He wants to stay in power. He wants to get these foreign fighters off his borders. We now have Jillian Turner with us as well. Uh, Jillian, how big a deal is this? I imagine that being able to operate from Turkey gives the U.S. tremendous advantages in terms of really targeting specific ISIS targets. It, it's a tremendous advantage militarily for um, U.S. anti-ISIS coalition strategy. But I also just want to point out that this is not the first time that Turkey is joining the anti-ISIS coalition. They've done a lot of really important ally work over the last few months, including harboring refugees, tighten up, tightening up their, their border with Syria to prevent the flow of foreign fighters, and some joint training exercises with the, with the U.S. as well. But Jillian, it is true that Erdogan, the prime minister, if, if he wasn't sympathetic to ISIS, at least he's sympathetic to a, a more hardline Islamist viewpoint. What's been happening with the Turkish administration is that um, over the last several months, there have been more and more terrorist attacks directed at Turks, including as recently as the beginning of this week, a major attack protesting uh, at a protest, excuse me, to, re, uh, to rebuild the city of Kobani. So it's not that terrorism is new for the Turks. It's that they're increasingly becoming the targets of attacks. So we're jumping into this fight now, all hands on deck. All right. And then there is Heli Love. You may not have heard of her, but she's a Kurdish pop star who is fighting ISIS with her music and her actions. Uh, Lisa, you spoke with her. What did she have to say about ISIS? Well, she's, tr she's a tremendous force. She's this pop singer, as you can see, uh, very vibrant. She's trying to tell the world that the, uh, this fight against ISIS is not just the fight that the Kurdish people um, are fighting, even though they're taking them on the battlefield. But this is a fight that everyone has to get on board with, or else it's going to be too late. You know, Jillian, we talk a lot about uh, what's happening on the Internet with regard to ISIS usually having the advantage Advantage in putting this stuff out. This, at least, Heli Love has a big following all around the world. If that begins to increase, if there are other efforts like what she's doing, maybe we could win the internet battle against ISIS. Maybe, because, you know, her messaging is right on point. The Kurdish Peshmerga are effectively fighting our ground war in the region for us. They've been some of our staunchest, most reliable allies, to, you know, battling yeah. ISIS head on. Lisa, wasn't she actually in a town that was taken over by ISIS? Yes, she's actually only a few miles away from ISIS, but she says she feels so secure and safe with Peshmerga bodyguards, obviously having to protect her with all the death threats that she's received. Uh, she says that she feels very, very safe with the Peshmerga protecting her. Yeah, and uh, you know, folks, it may look corny from our standards, but it has a lot of impact, particularly if you're living right next to the ISIS terrorists. I mean, the, these people are putting their, their bodies right on the line here, so it's very, very interesting stuff. Jillian Turner and Lisa Daftari, ladies, thank you very much. Appreciate it.